Hey guys, just gonna show you how to use this really cool program that mashes up and changes your image in a lot of different funky ways. So let's check it out. So this is called Photomosh. It's a site I found when I was trying to come up with ways for drawing and painting students to be able to manipulate your photograph without having to have an app. And this is a really cool site. It's very simple. All you have to do is load a file. So I'm just gonna choose a picture. I'm gonna go right to my files. So when it says choose file, it'll take me here. I'm gonna access my photos and I'm gonna pick one of my drawings. This could also be any photo that you have though, but I wanted to pick my drawing I'm doing an iPad drawing of LeBron James that I'm going to share here. So a little bit about this program. Like I said, it's pretty simple to use, but there are a lot of options. Over on the right-hand side, you're going to see things from Pixelate, and you just click the drop-down and you try it. Pixelate's kind of cheap. So you can try all of these out. You can either click it and click on the button and check them out individually just to see what you like, or you can do the feature here, which is called Mosh. Now, what I like about Mosh, check this out. As soon as I click it, it's just going to randomly put together. <laughs> I like that one. Um, it's going to randomly put together different images. So when you have something you like, if you want to save it, all you got to do is click the JPEG button up here, and you're going to click Save down here, right over the image. And it's going to make an image ready to go for your desktop. So I'm going to save this one because I liked it and then I'm gonna keep moshing for a while. When you get an image like this, it animates, but here's something that's really cool about these images. You can either save it as a GIF or GIF or a JPEG. I'm gonna save them as a JPEG so I get a still of this. So I wanna just pay attention to where it's warping and I wanna try and catch it at an interesting point. As soon as I click save, it's going to save it just at that point. And I'll briefly go to my image to show you what that looks like. So this moshed image shows a little bit of the warp. It, maybe not enough for me, so I may wanna do another one. So if I come back in here and click save again at a different time, it's gonna generate another. So now you can see it curled it in a different direction. So there it elongated the face. And in the other variation, it curled it up. You can mosh as many times as you want until you find something interesting to draw or you can further manipulate it by just clicking on the options yourself. The mosh can get a little crazy if you're not careful. If you want to reset them, what you can do is just go back in your screen and then we'll load the file again. When it's back to normal, then you can just play around with the different things. And I find that if you play around with each one, you can see that each one also comes with a slider. So just play. Have some time, see what you come up with, see what you find interesting, because this can take an ordinary photograph that you have and do something really interesting with it. Some of the different things that work well are things like slices. What slices does is it just cuts it up into little pieces there. For those of you who are more tech savvy, if you wanna just do a screen capture, I can just command shift three on my Mac and take a bunch of screen grabs. Every time I click, it takes a new screen grab or you can keep going the mosh way where you're saving the image and you download the entire image. That's completely up to you on how that works best. For those of you who want control, play around with the tuning board over here. For those of you who want randomness, play around with the moshing over here, yeah? I'm going to play around with all sorts of different things here. Maybe I get something cool to draw.